Hi guys, this is Gana. Today I'll talk about the latest KitKat update on Gioni E7 Mini. Uh, as you know, it was released a few days back, but unfortunately there is no OTA update, which is really disappointing from Gioni. Uh, so I had to manually update it. Uh, I mean, they had mentioned like you can go to the service center to update it, and I called like four service centers in Mumbai and like almost uh, three of them were not aware like there is some KitKat update they told me to come back after 10 days or one service center said like uh, it's not a Gioni service center <laughs> so it's really surprising and disappointing that Gioni has had such people I mean they should have uh, people who have uh, skills and knowledge to help customers like us so anyway, I updated manually and I'll post the link on how to update it below the video. So please check that out. As you can see now, the version has changed to 4.4.2 KitKat. So yeah, uh, now uh, the setting panel looks different. It's full all grey now. Kind of looks dull. Before it was multicolored. Anyway it doesn't matter and the notification they are changed like this now you can see all the percentage of ram used the available ram and if you click on this it will like kill some apps and free up ram like release member 96 mb the icons look different also so you can notice that now this is 470 mb available uh, before kitkat actually the available ram used to be like around 200 or even less so that's a great news for Gioni 7 mini users that now they have like 50% RAM available and one more good news is the latest version of Google Maps works fine before it used to crash so now it works just fine uh, basically if you take a look at the change log for this KitKat update they have added some free apps actually on this update like du battery server touch pal keypad du speed booster uc browser etc etc which you can basically can download from google play anyway so it's not a big deal uh to be honest uh, the performance i mean it kind of feels more uh, i mean smoother now after the kitkat update uh, there is no lag at all and while gaming also it feels smoother so there is more ram obviously and yeah there is no crash uh, crashing of apps or anything like that so it feels a lot better to be honest but the thing is when i ran n22 or and quadrant the score was a bit low and i'm not sure why it is 26861 before it used to be like 27700 or something so in quadrant i can show you uh, i took a screenshot actually yeah you can see it's 13 13,556 so it used to be a bit more anyway but you you actually don't feel any lag you you will feel it i mean it's faster now so that's good news uh, and they have changed this app system manager a bit it looks a bit different here now you can now you have all these uh, things in one app memory clean rubbish clean power optimizer app manager permission manager so all these things are now in the system manager app um, so thanks for watching guys and let me know if you have any queries uh, below the video and please check them check out the link on how to manually update it so thanks bye